Greetings Neuro Ninjas. Okay, so let's talk about what this Be A Study Neuro Ninja is all about. Hey, what's it all about, all this Be A Study Neuro Ninja stuff? Okay, well, basically, um, GCSEs, A-levels are coming down the pipe uh, and we need to get ready. So we need to think of it a bit like we would think about running a marathon. So we need to forget about the race itself, the GCSEs or the A-levels, and we need to focus on each day because we are a living organism and we grow the change in ourselves by what we do every day. So the skills and the knowledge we need to carry into those GCSEs and A-levels are living structures between the gaps in our neurons, the synapses. So how do we build those structures? Well, two basic processes. We're going to focus a lot on these videos. One is deliberate rest, which is the processes of really looking after ourselves, really caring for ourselves both inside and out to make sure our brain's in the best place possible to strut its fun funky cognitive stuff when it comes to those A-levels and GCSEs. And the second aspect is deliberate practice, which is basically practicing the skills and knowledge we need to build in the neural architecture of our brains. So every time we practice a skill or repeat a bit of knowledge, that increases the chances that we're going to change the structures inside our synapses, the chemistry, that means that that information is going to be held in our brain. And if you think about it, going into an exam, you're going to be holding a living structure in your head in the structure that you've built over the course of the practice sessions. So in these uh, series of videos, we're going to look at how to structure deliberate practice and how to manage deliberate rest. And really, success at GCSE and A-level, and actually to do with anything with our lives, is about making sure we balance rest and work um, in a really careful way to give us the best chance of delivering the best version of ourselves in those key moments when we have to really perform. Uh, so we're going to be looking at a whole range of things to do with rest and practice.